Well, the whole purpose of uh, having sweet sorghum grown is uh, is that we've identified it as a uh, high producing uh, sugar crop that produces juice for processing, uh, but it's a crop that we call a low input crop or a sustainable crop. That is, it requires uh, relatively low inputs. It can be grown on what we call marginal soils, and it can be grown in relatively droughty conditions. So it, it's a crop that uh, doesn't have a real big footprint, and uh, we've identified it as one of the sugar crops to produce biofuels. One of the first things we have to do is to be able to demonstrate that we can uh, plant it at, at a certain time to sustain the productivity for the viability of the biorefinery. So this test behind me is, is a simple approach of planting sorghum at different times using different maturities. And that combination of planting dates and differing maturities uh, allows the sorghum to be available for harvest over a sustained period for about three months. Uh, we're talking about starting to harvest sweet sorghum maybe optimistically the middle of July and continuing that harvest until the energy cane or the next crop to be harvested for biofuels would be available. So let's say July, August, September, early October you, you harvest sweet sorghum for biofuel production and then the next crop would be available uh, which in our case we think should be energy cane. You'd harvest energy cane until the spring and hopefully we'll identify another crop perhaps miscanthus that then could be harvested so that you can keep that biorefinery in business maybe most of the year. Uh, and so that's what we're hoping to do with the research that's behind me. Well, currently there's no commercial acreage of sweet sorghum and uh, very little commercial acreage of energy cane. Energy cane has been used by a couple of uh, pilot plants to determine the feasibility of using energy cane, mostly for that next generation of biofuels, that so-called cellulosic approach. Uh, sweet sorghum, however, is, is a conventional approach to producing uh, biofuel or ethanol. That is, they, they can take the juice and they can uh, ferment it and produce in a conventional way uh, ethanol. Sweet sorghum juice also can be used for things like producing plastics, uh, butanol, uh, gasoline. So it's a, a crop that produces a, a juice or a syrup that has multiple uh, products that can be made from it. Well, our initial thinking was if, if you take the sugar in industry, for instance, it has 11, 11 existing mills. Uh, all of those mills can be, with some effort, converted into uh, or have an attachment of a biorefinery to it. Uh, and Louisiana has about 400,000 acres of sugarcane. And, it, it, and it's grown on a rotating basis. That is, it has a fallow period uh, about 25% of the time. So you could have close to 100,000 acres of fallow land grown in the entire sugar belt, belt which can support a, an industry like uh, a biofuels industry. The farmers could plant sweet sorghum, for instance, on that fallow land uh, because they have that opportunity, grow that sweet sorghum crop harvest it for biofuel production, and then you can plant cane after that on that very same land, start the sugar cane production cycle. So that's one of the models that we think fits because we have an existing sugar cane industry. We have a competitive advantage in that the industry's there, the equipment that can be used for sugar cane can also be used for sweet sorghum. And so it's just, it's just something that fits quite well for us. Well, we're trying to push the envelope, if you will, by planting very early in the spring. This first planting behind me, we planted the third week of March, which is probably too early, but we're trying to stretch it to see what, what our extreme parameters are in terms of planting dates. If we can establish an early planting in March, for instance, then we can start harvesting earlier in July, and therefore biorefinery can start processing earlier. Instead of 
being in business for maybe two and a half months, they might be in business producing biofuel for three, three and a half months until that energy cane is ready to harvest sometimes in the fall. We also are looking at different maturities. We have what we call 90 day hybrids. That is, they, they, they uh, in 90 days from planting, uh, they produce a crop for processing. Uh, we also have 120 day hybrids, 150 day hybrids. So that mix of maturities and planting date, uh, we demonstrated last year that we can produce uh, sorghum feedstock uh, pretty sustainably over a three month period.